esters. An ester is a carboxylic acid derivative. So we can look here. Here is a carboxylic acid, and here's an ester. And it really helps in remembering all this stuff if you can see the patterns and see how things are similar and how things are different. The difference here is the carboxylic acid has a hydrogen, and the ester has an alkyl group. This is carbon something. It could be methyl, ethyl, something over here. And so the relationship here between the carboxylic acid and the ester is an H versus R relationship. And we see that in some other compounds as well. The linear representation for these is going to be COOR, which has nothing to do with beer, and, or CO2R. So again, the, the difference is you've got an R group instead of an H. And these are called esters. Um, esters are a little bit similar to ethers. Remember, ethers and alcohols also had this HR difference. An alcohol had an H, it was an OH group, and an ether has an OR group. The difference between the, the ester and the ether is the ester has this carbonyl group in there as well. So here's a summary. Um, I fixed the chapter numbers there for you. But this kind of summarizes these different um, structures that we've looked at. The alcohol versus the ether. The thiol versus the thioether. The aldehyde versus the ketone. The hemiacetal versus the acetal. The acid and the ester. And they have different names because they have different properties. Okay, the esters are not acidic. They have no acidic hydrogen. Carboxylic acids are weak acids and they have that acidic hydrogen. So they form salts where the esters do not. So that's a helpful table.